привет, братан, зенчики брейкис. You ever wonder what it's like to play this game on minimum requirement? Probably not, but I'm going to show you anyway. My name is Raven Thorn, and today we enter torture chamber. Recently, a lot of people have been saying, My PC has graphics power greater than my fucking eyeballs, cooled by the glaciers in the North Pole, and this game still runs like shit. And that got me wondering, what are the minimum requirements, and will the game actually run on those? NANI? BSG recommends a 2.4 GHz dual core, 8 GB of RAM, and 1 GB of video memory. Now, the system I was able to put together has an i3-560 at 3.33 GHz. That's almost one whole GHz more. That is like more GHz than NASA used going to the moon. 8 GB of system memory, dual channel, may I add, at 1333 MHz. That's like nearly three Chrome tabs and a 720p video. And a 1 GB HD 6870 that I couldn't even get to boot, so I had to swap it for a 2 GB R7-260X. Good start. Now, starting up the game for the first time, we're going to pretend we don't know what the graphic settings even do. Actually, we don't know what the graphic settings do, but we're cosplaying as someone who does know and is pretending not to know. Obviously, BSG will know, right? So we'll just leave it as is. Now, where better to test than customs, am I right? I would like to prematurely apologize to every human who had to wait for me. I know it was painful, it was painful for me too, but we did it in the name of science, so I appreciate your contribution. So after loading for 10 whole minutes, the game went into a freeze state, and I was worried that it had broken and that it had crashed, but I didn't want to touch any buttons, just in case, so I left it. For a good 45 seconds, I left it. Then we saw a black screen, and slowly the picture started happening. This is what we call peak Tarkov performance right here. As you can see, we are literally single-digit FPS. It's great. Absolutely fantastic. I was committed to moving around and actually trying to kill something, which eventually arrived in the form of a scav, and we entered a major fucking gunfight. I was proud, so I quit on the spot to see if I could get better performance. Though I went and put all the graphic settings on the lowest. I turned on V-Sync so we could uncap the frame rate, because, you know, we're definitely going to be hitting above 120 now. And then we went and loaded into customs again. Now, I'm going to spare you watching the loading screen again, because it took another 10 minutes. I again apologize to every human who had to wait for me while I loaded in, but again, science, you know? Eventually, a spawnerino happened again. This time, however, we spawned into Escape from Minecraft. Ironically, at worst performance, you couldn't make the shit up if you tried. Eventually, however, we managed to get close enough to double-digit frames, and I ain't no bitch, so I looked for something to kill once again. I found a scav, and while the frames were still low, the frame time felt a little bit better. I wasn't juttering as much as before. And that made killing this scav a lot less painful. Now, in order to be completely fair, we're also going to load Streets of Tarkov. I'm kidding, I don't want to create a black hole that resets the universe. We're going to load Factory and see how that runs. Maybe, just maybe, on minimum, you can get a decent playable experience on a small map. I was wrong. 